Yes, the number two player in the women's event, International Master Carissa Yip. Congratulations, Carissa, on your game. You seem to come into the game with like fire in your eyes with this the sacrifice in the opening. I'll go back uh, to this point. Here, where you play rookie one, you insist mm -hmm. that you're not taking back on C3. Tell us about yes. your preparation. Um, well, actually, I wasn't expecting queen B6. I was expecting bishop D7 on move 7. And then in that case, the sacrifice doesn't work as well. Because if I play bishop D3 then, uh, then black could just take on D4. And I play like rookie one. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, like this line here. Here, like, I'm kind of forced to take back on d4, and if I tried to just leave the pawn there, um, the whole idea of the line was, like, the queen on b6 is a little misplaced. So, yeah, so she surprised me a little with queen b6, and uh, I had this line prepared a little bit. Like, I looked at it briefly, but uh, I really wasn't expecting to play over the board. So you so. get to this position where you're just, both of you are arguing, uh, as we see here, nobody wants to take on c3 or you take on d4. And finally, she did play the move f5, and uh, it looks like you saw a red uh, trying to keep the position exciting and took on d4 finally to get the action going. Yeah, I think like the whole idea for me was that um, she was like, getting low on time, and it's just like objectively, or practically, sorry, a harder position to play for her, I think. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of my main strategy. So I wasn't really looking to play like the best moves, but like the moves that would be the hardest for her to deal with. Very, very practical way to play. Indeed, when she finally blundered, like a straight blunder, it looks like with bishop to c6, uh, you seem to think a little bit here before playing bishop h7. Why did you take so long? Um, I don't know. I was just like a little hesitant. I've been playing like a little hesitantly lately because... I feel like I always don't really do so well at this tournament, so I'm trying to be like a little more careful and stuff. And I mean, at this point, I had like an hour, so uh, I had time to spare to really Sure consider. did. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the bomb with 94. Now here, I wasn't too happy with your decision to go grab the, the food with bishop to b6. Why didn't you just take on f6 since you, if she moved her queen, you probably would have done it anyway. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know, honestly. I was like... I just like didn't really consider that she would just sacrifice her queen. I was expecting like queen b8 to be forced, and I thought like the addition of these two moves would be better for me. So like if I play like, knight takes f6 now, and just get that extra nuance. Yeah. So then she sacrificed her queen. By the way, I had these guys trying to win the position against me after the queen sacrifice mm -hmm. uh, against the computer, and they weren't able to do it too easily. But you did find the best move, the engine said, rook to c1. And then she just gave you the game instantly with knight f5. She could have tried to fight on with f5 herself yeah. uh, and make it a little bit more of trouble. But then you were able to fly through. So you're at one and a half out of two. How are you feeling about your situation in the tournament? Uh, I'm feeling good. Like I said, I always get kind of nervous for this tournament. So just kind of like trying to keep it one game at a time, sort of. Be I like chill, the shirt, you know? by the way, New York represent. Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got another New Yorker. Uh, we, we've got a Brooklynite in the event in Arena Crush. She's the number one ranked player in the tournament. Your thoughts about her trying to get history with nine wins and you trying to stop that? I mean, I'll be happy for her if she does make it, but hopefully I can't stop that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Diva. Well, good luck, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Quick question for you, Carissa. Because just at the end, the very end, you won in style, so to speak, uh, with this move, queen c5 check, and uh, wins the game. But for us old timers, old fogies, we play the move rook g6, and we don't even think about anything else. Nothing cross else crosses our mind. Uh, did that move occur to you, or queen c5 was your first move, oh, and you were going for that all the way? Because rook g6, we thought, oh boy, you know, Carissa's going to win the game for sure that mm -hmm. way. Yeah, rook g6 was actually my first move, and then, I don't even know, like I always, I kind of got in my head a little bit, and I was like, oh my god, what if I miss something? And I was like, I feel like queen, queen c5 is safer, just to get that pair queen of rooks off. Queen c5 is safer. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, very, very nice finish. Uh, well done. Well Thank done. You. Congratulations, Carissa. Wow. What a game. Safer.